family of sizzles every evening? That's the omnipresent tadka, a cornerstone of Indian cuisine. This humble yet potent technique where spices are gently fried to release their full flavors is the secret behind the tantalizing aroma wafting from your neighbor's kitchen. It's a culinary curiosity that transcends regional boundaries and has become an integral part of our food culture. The symphony of sizzles is, in fact, the sound of tadka being prepared, the heart and soul of many Indian dishes. The tadka, or tempering, is an age-old Indian culinary tradition. This is a tale that takes us back centuries to the very heart of India's rich culinary heritage. It's the story of the tadka, a cooking technique so integral to Indian cuisine that it's hard to imagine our dals, curries, and even some desserts without it. The history of tadka is as tantalizing as the sizzling sounds it creates in our kitchens. Its origins can be traced back to ancient India, where it was first used to add depth of flavor to otherwise simple dishes. Over time, the tadka evolved and became an art form, a culinary signature that distinguished one region's cuisine from another's. From the fiery Baghar of Andhra Pradesh loaded with red chilies to the sweet and spicy Baghar of Gujarat with its mustard seeds and jaggery, the tadka took on different forms, colors, and flavors as it traveled across the country, adapting to local tastes and ingredients. In Punjab, the tadka is often a robust mix of garlic, ginger, and tomatoes, while in Kerala, it's a more delicate blend of mustard seeds, curry leaves, and coconut oil. Tadka is more than just a cooking technique. It's a testament to India's diverse culinary landscape, a celebration of its regional flavors, and a tribute to the ingenuity of its home cooks. Whether it's the Fadni in Maharashtra or the Ogaran in Karnataka, each regional variation of the Tadka tells a unique story of its people, their culture, and their love for food. So what's in a Tadka? It's a handful of spices, a splash of oil, a burst of heat, and a whole lot of love. It's the secret ingredient that transforms a simple dish into something extraordinary, the magical touch that brings a recipe to life. So, the tadka is not just a cooking technique, it is a legacy passed down through generations. It's a story of flavor, tradition, and innovation. A story that continues to sizzle and pop in kitchens across India, and indeed the world. Behind the sizzle and aroma of the tadka, there's a fascinating science. Let's dive into the wonderful world of culinary science to understand what really happens when we add that sizzling tadka to our food. First off, cooking is essentially a series of chemical reactions. When we heat our spices, we are actually triggering these reactions, causing the spices to release their hidden flavors and aromas. How does this work? Well, spices contain volatile compounds, these are chemical substances that readily vaporize at low temperatures. When heat is applied, these compounds start to vaporize and in the process, they release their distinctive flavors and aromas. It's like unboxing a surprise gift, except the gift is a delightful burst of flavors and smells. Now let's talk about how these flavors get infused into the food. You see, these volatile compounds are also lipophilic, which means they love fat. They dissolve in it, get carried by it, and spread throughout it. So when we add our tadka to the food, the fat in the tadka acts as a vehicle, carrying the flavors and aromas from the spices and dispersing them evenly throughout the dish. What's more, the heat also causes the sugars in the food to caramelize, adding a depth of flavor that's both sweet and savory. This is known as the Maillard reaction, a complex process that adds that extra oomph to your food. But it's not just about the taste. The tadka also enhances the nutritional value of the food. The heat makes certain nutrients more accessible and easier to absorb. Plus, many spices have health benefits of their own, from anti-inflammatory properties to digestion aids. So the next time you hear that satisfying sizzle of the tadka, remember the incredible science that's at play. From triggering chemical reactions and releasing flavors, to infusing these flavors into the food and enhancing its nutritional value, every step in the process is a testament to the beauty of culinary science. The tadka is thus a perfect blend of art and science. Mastering the tadka is an art. Let's delve into the how-tos. The art of tadka is all about the perfect balance of heat, timing, and the sequence of adding spices. Let's start with the heat. 
The oil or ghee, depending on your preference, needs to be heated to just the right temperature. Too hot and the spices will burn, too cold, and the spices won't release their full flavor. So how do you know when it's just right? Watch for the oil to shimmer, but not smoke. That's your cue to add the spices. Now let's talk about the sequence. The order in which you add your spices matters. Hard spices like cumin seeds, mustard seeds, or fenugreek need to be added first. They require more time to cook and release their flavors. Once they start to sizzle and pop, you know they're doing their job. Next, add your onions, garlic, or ginger. These ingredients need a little less heat than the hard spices, but still enough to become golden and aromatic. Remember, golden, not brown. Browning means they're burnt, and that's a flavor you don't want in your dish. Finally, add your powdered spices, like turmeric, chili powder, or garam masala. These are delicate and can burn easily, so they go in last and only need a few seconds to a minute to cook. And now, the timing. The tadka is usually added at two possible stages, either at the beginning of the cooking process to infuse the oil and the dish with flavor, like in a dal or a curry, or it's added at the end as a finishing touch to a cooked dish to give it an aromatic boost, like in a biryani or a pulao. So there you have it, the art of tadka. It's all about the right heat, the right sequence, and the right timing. With practice and patience, one can perfect the art of tadka. The tadka continues to rule Indian kitchens, adding flavor and aroma to our meals. As the heart and soul of many Indian dishes, the tadka is more than just a cooking technique. It's a tradition passed down through generations that has stood the test of time. In contemporary Indian cooking, the tadka has not lost its charm or importance. It continues to be the final flourish that transforms a simple dish into a culinary masterpiece. Whether it's the earthy tadka in a comforting bowl of dal, the fragrant one in a spicy curry, or the fiery one in a chutney, the tadka brings out the symphony of flavors and elevates the dish to a whole new level. But the tadka is not just about taste, it's about nutrition too. The heat from the tadka releases the essential oils from the spices, making them more digestible and beneficial for our health. It's a subtle dance between flavor and nutrition that the tadka so beautifully orchestrates. In the end, the tadka is more than just a sizzling symphony of spices. It's a celebration of Indian culinary tradition, a testament to our love for food and a tribute to the art of cooking. The symphony of sizzles, the tadka, is indeed the crowning glory of Indian cuisine